Hello and welcome, it is the Hell Beast, and we need to set some shit straight as per usual. There's a lot of trash build videos floating around for The Witcher 3, even this many years later. This is the most powerful build possible from a damage perspective. You can have 12 static buffs active at all times that won't run out, and on top of that you can use every single potion and you don't have to wait very long for the toxicity to wear off in order to do so. Let's go ahead and show you what I'm using. The Viriliden Blade, because it has a 3% chance for insta-kill when paired with the ability that gives us almost a 10% chance to kill instantly with one hit. We have the Erendite. Right now it's only leveled up 12 times. I don't know what the max is. If you want to level this up fully, you're going to need to take off all of the increases to your build so that you're not killing monsters in one hit. And go about, you know, charging this thing up ten times, hitting a monster, killing it, and that gives you a charge. I've done it twelve times. This is more than enough. It has the replenishment on it, so every time my body automatically casts Quinn, then it charges the sword with Quinn for additional damage. That's pretty much the best swords you can get in the game. You can replace the Virolidin Blade if you prefer a tiny little bit more damage. Wait until you're around level 96 like me and then complete the Hearts of Stone quest where you fight the Groundskeeper. He drops a shovel that absorbs life. That's pretty beasty weapon. And besides that, the Toussaint Knight's Sword is a, you know, an equal replacement. We're wearing the Grandmaster Feline Gloves, Body, and Boots. And we are wearing the Legendary Manticore Trousers for that additional toxicity which allows us to abuse the potion and decoction system. You can use four decoctions at any given time however i suggest these because they are the best the troll decoction the water hag the all ghoul as well as the ekamara mainly we're stacking a damage 50 percent increase to damage at full health as well as adrenaline point gain because our critical hits as well as our instant kill chance are relative to adrenaline points and then damage so basically we can fight never have to eat food never have to worry about swallow damage dealt returns vitality and troll constantly regenerates vitality now let's get into the actual character build it's by no means necessary to have 96 levels in fact you can complete this build as you see it here around level 40 on your first playthrough as long as you waste no points or simply use the potion to return all of your points as far as mutation is concerned absolutely do not unlock this entire tree as i have done right here that will cost you a vast sum of mutagens as well as non-returnable skill points you simply want to unlock euphoria this is the absolute best ability i don't care what nobody says it's the only one that is uh, consistent let us say now back to this you're going to want all of the heavy sword attacks this makes it so that whenever you hit an enemy they lose 25 percent of their defense and then sunder as long as you charge it up with a full stamina bar will kill any enemy in the game in one hit we want all of the light sword attacks except for whirl you can fit it in if you want but i don't suggest it we want deadly precision for that instant kill chance and we want razor focus for an instant adrenaline point at the beginning of combat you're going to have to invest very heavily into the green tree as well but the only abilities you want to use are heightened tolerance acquired tolerance synergy and fast metabolism and lastly you want these three abilities right here cat school battle frenzy and metabolic control 
Utility abilities that you'll want to swap in when your inventory becomes full are strong back. And in case you really are struggling with the game, this is probably the most overpowered ability there is. Gourmet. You eat food once and then it constantly regenerates your life, completely negating any difficulty of broken bones or death march. And that is the build. It is absolutely murderous. It can destroy any enemy in the game in one hit. Uh, however, that's highly dependent on RNG, whereas Deadly Precision and the Viroladin Blade will go a long way to kill any human enemy in one hit. Um, but mostly RNG for killing the, uh, whatever you call it, bosses. You may get lucky if you feel like reloading files just to see them die in one hit. It's going to take you a while. Uh, other than that, Here's all of the stats. We have 16,686 strong attack critical hit damage. However, it is relative to the individual monster's level, meaning I've seen that number climb as high as 70,000 damage. If you freeze them with an ice bomb, get behind them, and then do a full rend. This is the most powerful build possible that I can come up with in The Witcher. I don't read facts wikis forums none of that so maybe there's something similar out there but i probably doubt it anyways that's all there is to it if you want to absolutely smash this game like i said you can accomplish this if you waste no skill points on your first playthrough right around level 40 45 ish and it makes new game plus an absolute joke even on death march so there you go that's all you need to hear video's over like, share, and sub if you feel so inclined, and I will see you on the next one.